Shadows of Integrity, Jack's Journey Through the Great Depression. Jack Thompson sat in his dimly lit office, staring at the stack of unpaid bills. The sound of bustling New York City barely penetrated the thick walls of his small, failing business. Outside, the Great Depression cast a shadow over the city, affecting everyone. Jack, a once prosperous businessman, now found himself struggling to keep his company afloat. If only things were different, Jack muttered, running a hand through his graying hair. The tax collector's visit earlier that day weighed heavily on his mind. The government was relentless, demanding payments Jack couldn't afford. He had already sold most of his personal belongings to cover past dues. Walking home through the crowded streets, Jack noticed the long lines at soup kitchens and the forlorn faces of those who had lost everything. Desperation was everywhere. Maybe I should join them, he thought bitterly. But Jack was too proud to give up. He had a family to support and a business to save. That evening, as Jack sat down to dinner with his wife, Mary, and their two children, the weight of his financial troubles seemed unbearable. How was your day, dear? Mary asked, sensing his distress. Jack forced a smile, not wanting to worry her more than she already was. Just the usual, he replied, poking at his food. We'll manage somehow. But deep down, he wasn't so sure. The future looked bleak. Days turned into weeks, and the pressure mounted. Jack's thoughts grew darker as he considered illegal schemes whispered about in the shadows of the city. One evening, a man named Frank approached Jack outside his office. I hear you're in a bind, Frank said, his voice low and conspiratorial. Jack eyed Frank warily. What do you know about it? He asked, not liking the look of the man. Frank smiled, sensing Jack's hesitation. There are ways to make money quickly, Frank suggested. No need to worry about taxes or the law. Jack's heart raced at the thought. What do you mean? Jack asked, curiosity and desperation battling within him. Frank leaned in closer, his voice barely above a whisper. Underground markets, untraceable deals. Easy money. Frank's words hung in the air, tempting Jack with a way out of his troubles. Jack couldn't deny the appeal, but something held him back. His conscience pricked at him, reminding him of the values he held dear. That night, Jack tossed and turned in bed, Frank's offer replaying in his mind. He knew it was wrong, but the lure of easy money was strong. The next morning, Jack walked past a community center. A sign caught his eye, financial help and support. He paused, considering his options. Inside, he met Mrs. Jenkins, a kind woman who listened to his plight. She offered advice on managing debts and finding legal ways to ease his burden. It's not easy, but it's honest work, Mrs. Jenkins said, handing Jack a pamphlet. There are always people willing to help. Jack thanked her, feeling a glimmer of hope. Maybe there was a way to solve his problems without resorting to illegal activities. Determined to find a solution, Jack spent the next few days exploring the resources Mrs. Jenkins had suggested. It was hard work, but he felt better. He reached out to former business associates, asking for advice and potential collaborations. Some doors were closed, but others opened. Jack found a small group of like-minded individuals struggling through the same hardships. They decided to band together, pooling resources and ideas. Together, they brainstormed ways to support each other. One idea was to start a cooperative, sharing profits and losses to survive the tough times. Jack felt a renewed sense of purpose. The cooperative provided a legal way to generate income, helping him stay on the right side of the law. Meanwhile, the tax collector returned, demanding payment. Jack showed him the progress he had made and explained his plan to get back on track. The tax collector, though stern, saw Jack's efforts and granted him a small extension. It wasn't much, but it bought Jack some time. Encouraged, Jack threw himself into the cooperative's work. He spent long hours organizing, planning, and helping others in the group. The cooperative began to grow, attracting more members. 
each person's unique skills and talents contributed to their collective success. Jack felt a sense of community and support he hadn't experienced in a long time. They were all in this together, and that made a difference. Despite the hard work, Jack's financial situation slowly improved. He managed to make small payments towards his debts and taxes. One evening, Mary noticed the change in Jack. You seem more hopeful, she said, holding his hand. Jack nodded, feeling the warmth of her support. I am, he replied. We're going to get through this. Together. Mary smiled, her eyes shining with pride and relief. Months passed, and the cooperative's success continued to grow. They expanded their services, helping more people and strengthening their community. Jack became a respected leader within the group, known for his integrity and hard work. He was no longer the desperate man contemplating illegal schemes. One day, as Jack reviewed the cooperative's accounts, he realized they had finally turned a profit. It was a modest sum, but it was honest and hard-earned. Jack paid off the last of his debts and made a significant payment towards his taxes. The sense of relief was overwhelming. The tax collector visited again, this time with a more amicable demeanor. You've done well, Mr. Thompson, he said, shaking Jack's hand. Thank you, Jack replied, feeling a sense of pride. It hasn't been easy, but we've made it through. The collector nodded, impressed by Jack's perseverance. Jack's business began to stabilize, and he even hired a few new employees from the cooperative. The future looked brighter than it had in years. He often thought back to Frank's offer and was grateful he had chosen the right path. The easy way could have led to ruin, but honesty led to redemption. One evening, Jack gathered his family and told them about the cooperative's journey and their own struggles. The children listened, wide-eyed with admiration. Remember, Jack said, we must always choose the right path, even when it's difficult. Integrity and hard work will see us through. His children nodded, understanding the importance of his words. Jack knew they would carry these lessons with them throughout their lives. The cooperative continued to thrive, becoming a beacon of hope for others in the community. Jack's leadership was key to their success. Jack often spoke at community events, sharing his story and encouraging others to face their challenges with honesty and resilience. Through his journey, Jack had learned valuable lessons about responsibility and the importance of upholding ethical principles in times of adversity. His business, once on the brink of collapse, now stood as a testament to the power of perseverance and the strength of community. Jack's relationship with his family deepened, and they grew closer through their shared struggles and triumphs. Their bond was unbreakable. As the years passed, Jack never forgot the lessons he learned during the Great Depression. They guided him through the rest of his life. The cooperative flourished, becoming a cornerstone of the community. Many who had once been desperate found hope and support within its ranks. Jack looked back on his journey with pride. He had faced his financial challenges with integrity, and it had made all the difference. He often wondered what might have happened if he had taken Frank's offer. The thought always reinforced his gratitude for the path he chose. Jack's story inspired others to act with integrity, even in the face of great difficulty. His legacy was one of resilience and ethical steadfastness. He knew that times would always bring challenges, but he also knew that honesty and community could overcome even the toughest obstacles. Jack's journey through the Great Depression was a testament to the enduring power of human spirit and the importance of making the right choices. As he stood outside his business, watching the bustling city, Jack felt a deep sense of contentment. He had faced his demons and emerged stronger. With a heart full of hope and a future bright with promise, Jack knew that no matter what came next, he would face it with the same integrity and resolve.